Hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial of how to access ACIT racks. This tutorial we will learn how to access the racks from within the institute or over LAN. Let us just use a terminal client uh, to connect to our assigned rack. Uh, for this tutorial we have been assigned rack 1. I have been given a username password which I have just taken from my members login. Uh, you can use any client, Windows terminal client, you can use Windows telnet client, you can use PuTTY or Secure CRT, any one whether you prefer. Uh, we will be using PuTTY. So something that you need to remember when you are connecting, you will be using protocol telnet which is on port 23. So just remember that your default or the port that you choose is on port 23 or telnet. Uh, the subnet that we will be accessing will be 192.168.101.1. X, X, X. Now the subnet for all racks is 101 uh, uh, which is 192.168.101.xxx so remember this very clearly. The XXX needs to be replaced with the rack that you have been assigned. So for example I have been assigned rack 1, I will use rack 1. Please do not put in any leading zeros to it because your putty will not connect. Okay. In case if you have been assigned rack 51 you need to use 51. In case if you have been assigned rack 200, you need to use rack 200. So just remember, whatever the rack you assign has to be put in here. Uh, tell it and open. And there you see my session is open. I can see the devices that are there. Uh, R1, R2, R3, switch 1, switch 2. Okay. You can see which course that you connected for in the banner. Okay. I am going to use the username and password assigned to me. And I am connected. So once we are connected to the rack, you can use uh, the terminal to connect to the other devices. Terminal server is actually used to connect to the other devices. It is more of a console management uh, server for you. We have R1, R2, R3, switch 1 and switch 2 as you see on the screen. Let us connect to R1. It will open a session with R1. So. Uh, There, you see the banner coming in. Okay, so I'm back now. To, to switch back to your terminal server from any device, you need to use Control Shift Six plus X. Now, Control Shift Six, you need to press together, and then X. So that is where you will come back, and or you'll be able to switch in between devices. I can go to the other device or start or you know in initiate a session with R2. There you go again. Let me make this full screen just in case. I am again using Control Shift 6X to switch in between, going to R3. Switch one, switch two, and you see that I've opened sessions with uh, these devices, and that's all for this tutorial. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back to this tutorial. In this section, we will be learning how to access our test PCs. Tracks like security and voice need this to access other appliances or test their connectivity. Let's just learn how to go through it. For this section, we will be using a browser. We will be needing to connect to VM Center or the vCenter machine. So I'm just going to put in, in the URL bar VM. You can do this too. It's as simple as following these instructions. Click here, log in to vSphere web client. Now, this is what will again ask you the exception again. And you will get the login screen. In your login screen, you have to use for your rack assigned. For example, let us say if the rack assigned to me was rack 51, I need to use rack XXX. Now, in this section, I will or I have been assigned rack 51. So let's just use rack 051. You need to replace anything, you know, in less than three digits with the leading zero. 
So the xxx has to be replaced by a number. So 0, 5, 1. In case if you have rack, let us say 100, it will be rack 100. If you have rack 1, it will be 0, 0, 1. Okay. So rack 51, the password is capital A, C, I, T, at the rate 1, 2, 3. Is being flashed on your screen now. Login. close this go to your VMs now here if you see that you will be able to see the two PCs that are there that are available to you so one is an ACA server the other is a test PC we want to start the test PC you can just click on start to start stop the ACS also you can do it from here itself As you see the boot is happening. For the second section in this tutorial, you will need the VNC previewer to actually connect to your test machine. Let's just download a VNC viewer. So I'm just going to Google up for real VNC real VNC viewer and the first thing that I get is this. Now depending on the, on the kind of machine that you're using, you may download either 32-bit or 64-bit version. Uh, just click on the download link. You will be asked to fill up a form. Once you submit the form, you will be able to start downloading it. I have already downloaded and installed my version. I have, uh, you will need to install yours too. After installing, you can start VNC Viewer. Now, in the VNC Viewer, you will need to make a spine change before you actually proceed. Go to Options. Okay. You will need to click on Advance in the Expert mode. Change the color level to Full, F-U-L-L, Full. Okay. You need to type this manually. Okay. Just click on OK. The IP address by which we can access all your PCs is 192.168.95.228 and the port number will be XXX as usual. So 20XXX is our port number as you know that our rack assigned is 51. So we will have to put in 20,051. Okay. And we say connect. It's asking me for an administrative password. It's capital A C I T at the rate 1 2 3. Always remember this folks that the password has to be put in that way. Now you see that I've already got my Windows 2003 server uh, on and available to me and uh, I'm being prompted for a control alt or delete or a login screen prompt. Just send your control alt or delete from this bar here on top. It's easier to do it that way. The test PC connectivity password is also the same capital A C I T at the rate 1 2 3 and you're in. So you can just cancel the TFTP session that was on. To access your ACS, just double click here. And there you go. You can see the ACS login screen has come up. The username is ACS admin. And the password is capital A C I T at the rate one two three. Please remember this. Login. And I'm in. So that's all for this session. Thank you very much.